How many of you have scrolled through your newsfeed to find a shocking headline or a trend that promises outrageous health benefits? We give you our opinion in what's the real deal. Recently, we're going to be talking about a mother who shared her mom hack on Instagram, a fabric band across her little one's forehead to keep his head from drooping when he dozed off in his car seat. But not too much later, she reposted it with a stern warning. Do not do this. I was wrong. This could lead to internal decapitation. That post went viral. What is the real deal? We asked our good friend, orthopedic spine surgeon, Dr. Humam Melamed, to join us and, and help talk about this. Because from the outside, looking in at this whole scenario, you can understand how a parent would think, oh, the baby looks more comfortable if they fall asleep, you know, putting one of these around their head would be a good idea. But what's, what's going on with, with these? Absolute, absolute no. I cannot emphasize how dangerous these are. I know everybody has a good intention. You don't want the head to fall. You want to keep the neck straight, which is fine. But this is the worst thing you can do. Why? Because, God forbid, in an accident, you, there's a, what she said is absolutely correct, internal decapitation, meaning that the head, which is the skull, the occiput, and the neck, the cervix, they dissociate from each other. And they basically, it snaps internally. Can lead to immediate it, death, right? It's, it's basically, I mean, the death rate is over 99%. Wow. Look, if you want to stabilize the neck, you use a neck brace. <laughs> That's right? correct. In, in medicine, it's not as though someone has an unstable neck or cervical spine. You, you deal with it up here. And what's kind of scary is this particular one, we got online for $8.00. It had over 450 reviews, 73% giving four plus stars. Because those are the parents who hadn't had the problematic experience. That's right. There were some with one stars that said things like, this nearly killed our baby and not safe, be careful. How does a parent, you know, when they're evaluating situations like this, how, how does a parent know to be careful? One of them is that people don't realize this thing can actually come down and choke around your neck as well too. It can actually you know, come down. It can, you know, all, so yes. many spots where it could cause problems. Exactly. Or they can block their mouth, you know, so all kinds of. But most importantly, you have to look at the manufacturing company you're buying it from. Do they recommend this product? Does it go with it? You know, you really have to look. I know you're trying to do the right thing, but sometimes doing the right thing, you can actually do more harm. So in other words, if you have this brand of car seat, only buy products that are yes. made for oh, this brand, brand of car well, seat. That's that exactly are, that right. Are, from the manufacturer that have passed all the safety protocols That's right. and, and whatnot. Don't self-accessorize. Exactly. And this is one of the great fears I have with online sales. Mm -hmm. You know, realistically, you would like to believe that some of the, the brick and mortar stores that you go into, if they sell a particular car seat, they're not going to sell accessories that are potentially dangerous, or at least they should not. But you can go online and unwittingly buy things that are harmful to you or your child. If you're not sure and you already have bought something, take it, take it to your doctor, doctor and say, hey, yes. I bought this. Maybe I spent 100 bucks on it. And is it worth me using this or is it, should I just throw it away?